Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my April favorites and gosh, it's time flying. This month was pretty fun because it was my daughter's birthday. She turned two, thank God, and we threw her a little party with family and it was just really fun and I don't know, I felt like April was just a very positive month for myself and I love that my channel is growing, that you guys are growing with me, and it was just a good month overall. So let's go ahead and get started. So I know that tons of you have been requesting for me to do a skincare routine, and I will have that video sometime next week, either Monday or Friday. It's just that it's hard because my boyfriend works most of, or he works all the time, and I'm home alone with my daughter, so I don't have anybody to help me film. So hopefully I have some time, I don't know, some time this weekend to get him to help me film. But really quickly, I did want to mention these products and you are going to see these in that video. Um, this is pretty new um, to me as far as like me trying it out. I've never tried this brand before. This is by the brand Philosophy and it's their Renewed Hope in a Jar. And then um, this is a refreshing and refining moisturizer. I love to apply moisturizers to my skin, as you all should, before your makeup because I feel like it just looks a lot better and my my skin just feels really nice and clean and prepped for makeup. I do have oily skin and this doesn't give me that oily residue. It just sinks into my skin really nicely. I believe this is a full size. I'm not sure. Um... One of my good friends actually sent it to me in a little goodie box um, and I've been using it ever since and I love it so, so much. Um, let me know if you guys have tried any Philosophy products, which ones are your favorite because I definitely want to um, look into that and possibly get some more products. Now, another thing that I've also been loving, and I've just been really into skincare and taking care of my skin for the longest time, believe it or not, I would just wash my face with just irregular face wash and that's it. But I've invested into some products, and again, you will see all that in my skincare routine. But this is another, but this is another, but this is another product that I have loved so much. This is by the brand of Pura Dior. It's a professional strength. Um, serum and this contains 20% of vitamin C. Vitamin C is amazing for your skin. It's really good for wrinkles and really nice to um, reduce the appearance of your pores. It just increases the elasticity of your skin and the firmness. So vitamin C has tons of good benefits um, to it and I've been using this for I don't even know maybe about two weeks and I have definitely seen a difference the only thing that kind of bugs me about this product is when I apply it to my skin it feels kind of sticky but then after it sets in then it kind of goes away I will have a full review on Pura Dior products um, maybe this week I don't know I, I have tons of videos that I need to film and this is one of them because their products are amazing I'm currently using their shampoo conditioner and then their argan oil. Let me tell you that they are just amazing. So that's another product that I have been loving for my skin. Now, I don't have too much, but I'm going to try to go through them as quickly as possible. I'm going to talk to you about um, four lip products that I have just been obsessing over for the past month. These are the NYX Intense Butter Gloss, and these are pretty new. Um, I have a couple of them, and this is in the color Apple Crisp. This is the one that I was wearing on my BoxyCharm unboxing that I did a couple of days ago. And these butter glosses are amazing. The pigmentation is crazy for a gloss. And it's so rich, it's so creamy, and it's not too sticky, which is what I enjoy. Um, the only thing that kind of sucks about this is that it does get a little bit feathery, so make sure to apply a lip liner and then apply the, and then apply this on the top and then you're good to go. I love this color. It's so pretty. It's a true classic red, which will have those blue undertones, which means your teeth will look whiter. So that's always a plus. Um, this one again was Apple Crisp, and I have some other ones, but this is just the one that I've been reaching out for the most. It is just so pretty. Now, the two colors that, or the next two lipsticks that I want to talk about 
are these two right here and it's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. Um, this is the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in $19.95. I believe this is the one that Jaclyn Hill um, collaborated with them to do and it is a really pretty um, I, Kylie Jenner lip I guess. I don't know how to explain the color but if you have it you know what I'm talking about. It's really really pretty and I haven't used this in a while and I just started to I don't know use it all of a sudden for some weird reason and I've just been loving it ever since and it's so creamy and and I'm saying and a lot so it's that one right there and then what I like to do is take my J Cat lipstick in the color Honey Crisp. It's a really really pale nude color. Ugh, it's not twisting up just like that. Let me clean this off because I applied it to the top. It's this one right here. I don't even know if you can see it. It's really light. So I like to apply this all over my lips and then I'll take and then I'll take this to the middle like this. And then it'll kind of do that ombre effect. And it just looks so pretty. J Cat lipsticks are pretty affordable and I really like them. So the next lip product is actually a um, liquid lipstick and this is by the brand LA, LA Colors and it's the Lip Couture in the color gold, Gowlish, Goldish. not sure how you pronounce it but it's so pretty. I wore this for the first time on my daughter's birthday and I got so many compliments. It's a really nice like taupey gray color. But it looks different on so many people. Like, I don't know, it has a little bit of like a mauve dusty rose to it. But then when it dries to the lips, it dries um, to that soft taupey gray. It's that one right there. And it does dry absolutely matte, which I love matte lipsticks or liquid lipsticks that dry to a matte. And I love it because you can actually pair it with so many different lip liners for example if I want it to be really nice and brown I'll just apply a brown lip liner and it'll change the color or if I want it more mauve -y. so you can kind of play around with it and apply it to your likings I only have a few items to show you guys this is the NYX micro brow pencil I am in the color espresso I was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow whisk for a while and I really really like it but it's really expensive it's $21 and it honestly does not last that long. And I had heard that the NYX Micro Brow Pencil was a dupe for that. So I was like, okay, let's go ahead and try that. I got mine at Ulta for $10, which is half the price of Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's honestly amazing. It's what I have on my eyebrows today. And it's what I've been wearing for the past maybe month, month and a half or so. And I really, really like it. It's the same concept. You get the little pencil and then on the other side you get the little spoolie thingy majinger. Awesome product. If you don't want to spend or splurge on the Anastasia, then definitely get this one. And they do have different colors. And then the next product is this Sonia Kashuk blush. And this is in the color Sunset. If you can see it, I don't know if it's showing true to color but here it's a gorgeous like salmony peach color i love these types of blushes i just feel like they complement my skin tone very well it's what i'm wearing on my cheeks today and it's really really pretty it does have a little bit of like gold flex to it but not too much where you're going to be looking sparkly on the face so yeah i love this blush and i can't get enough of it <laughs> So the last thing, which is, or actually I have two more things. Um, if you guys have me on Snapchat, then you guys see me wear these glasses tons of times. But I recently got these because I had absolutely no shades and I always got to have some shades. And I got these at a store called Gordman's. These are so pretty. I love the little stud thingies here and I usually don't go for shades like these because I don't know I don't really like like blings on them but these are so nice I feel like such a diva when I wear these aren't these the coolest and then they have that really nice um what do you call it that rainbow effects and I don't know I just I really been digging these so um I want to show you guys this really quickly because 
I kind of want to let you guys know of the awesome price that I got these shoes. So during the summer, I love wearing high heels. I love wearing high heels in general, but sometimes I'm just too lazy to get all dressed up. But I've been trying to improve and I've been trying to get more ready as far as like looking decent and not like a bum. And me and my sister are always shopping on eBay and I got these gorgeous heels. Aren't these so freaking pretty? I got mine in a size 7 because I do have really wide feet and shoes like these tend to just run a little bit small and yeah these are so pretty. They have a little strap on the back so you can customize them to the size of your ankle which is amazing and oh, I just love them and I love this color. I have a second pair of shoes that I got. Um, they're kind of similar to this, but they don't have the open toe. And I just think that you can pair these with so many different things. Um, so yeah, I got these. And I think I only got them for like $16, $17. I usually like to buy my high heels off of eBay. They are brand new. They're never worn. They're from sellers that sell the same shoes as what they sell in the mall, but for a lot cheaper. So yeah, I got those. Let me show you really quickly. The other pair that I have, I'm actually wearing them. And then these are the second pair of heels that I got. So me and my sister actually got the same ones because we both just fell in love with them. They're like not so high, which is what I like. And then, I don't know, they're so pretty. Just like the detail to them. And they're pointy, which I like pointy heels. But they're kind of like botitas, but summer botas. I don't know. They are so pretty. And as you can see, I love this type of color, that camel color. I just feel like it goes with so many things. So I just threw in a plain t-shirt. All right, so that is everything. These are my April favorites. I can never just say it straight. So those were my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye